backlog visualization um again quite often you can kind of predict dependencies you can identify dependencies up front so why not visualize that in the backlog on a kanban board so we can we can see that on this one we're going to be dependent on the crm team so there's no point pulling that card into our kind of uh, development um cycle uh, until that dependency has maybe been resolved okay so we just make sure we we, we kind of don't start work and then get caught in the headlights and go oh we, we block now we started the work we can't finish it what do we do now we could have actually with a bit of hindsight we, we could have realized that that was going to be a blocker before we even started the work okay number 12 already here we go you have to manage both ends of the dependency particularly people upstream so i had a actually this probably happens a few times a month across different teams that i'm coaching where they say right here we are this is our backlog the golden ticket there we've flagged it as a dependency it's dependent there's a we need team b to do some work for us um they generally they've done the good thing they've visualized it in the backlog we know there's a dependency so i go and have a look at team b and when i look at their board I can't see that golden ticket anywhere. That ticket, well, where is it on their board? So again, you have to make sure that it is actually on their board and you have actually prioritized it or you're having conversations with the product owner or delivery manager, whoever's responsible for prioritizing the work for that team. And of course then, attend Team B stand-ups as well. If you're doing stand-ups, watch the work going across the board. If it gets blocked, you need to know straight away so you can help to unblock it. Okay. And again, that's about managing them both ends of this dependency. So you can then unblock that and it can move across the board. Another technique we see um, is a, just a simple dependency map. So um, clearly you can't be a dependency on yourself. Well, that's a sequencing issue then, isn't it? Um, but you can kind of say who's dependent on who. So um Team three dependent on team one. The request is sort of we need it within the next one to five days, or maybe a green one represents well, five, it's going to be more than five days, but we know it's coming. There's a dependency in the future. Maybe an urgent one is signified in red. Um, I've seen this effectively, well, used really effectively at the Scrum of Scrums. If anyone does a Scrum of Scrums meeting, um, so it's a great way to visualize those dependencies. The next one use explicit policies to expedite right let me unpick a bit of that terminology so the idea here is that on a kanban board um we've got a load of stuff in the backlog we want to do and from and we use the next column or maybe this is your next sprint column you decide you have a conversation about what's the next things we're going to pull in from the backlog and we may limit that as well in kanban but what we're trying to say here is instead of just picking adding things generally to a backlog if you've got a dependency so i'm looking at the downstream team here by the way um we've got an inbound upstream dependency this is a bit like the fast pass that you get at disneyland it gets you to the front of the queue it doesn't immediately mean you're going to get prioritized and be able to actually then work through this uh, and get your work prioritized uh, started it just means you get to the front of the queue to have the conversation because uh, what we don't want is people gaming the system um, and it's not a guarantee, it just gets you to the front, all right? So it's something to just think about there. You can kind of expedite and call that out as a specific policy within your delivery process. Um, don't use this for shared service teams as well because everything's a priority. You know, they have many masters. So going back to those component teams and shared service teams, um, this is particularly only really good for feature teams in, in this respect. <laughs>